Hey Trout Riders, welcome back to the Daily Ride. I hope you guys are doing well. Today the scriptures that get us through the Bible in a year are Job 28, 1 through 30, verse 8, Psalm 105, 37 through 45, Proverbs 21, 29 through 31, and 1 Corinthians 10, 25 through 11, 16. Today we're going to be talking about perfectly certain. Our focal passage is going to come from Acts 16, 31, which says, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved and your household. Reading God's word is a constant source of assurance that I am saved and I know it. His word says it. God is not a man who that he would he should lie. Numbers 23:19. Again, we're going to be talking today about perfectly certain Another great way to start off a, a new year uh, in, or anything new is to have an assurance of our salvation. When you are saved, you should know it. Otherwise, how could you be a witness for Christ? The Bible clearly speaks about this positively. It does not stammer. When you read it, it becomes more certain. Martin Luther once said, The Holy Spirit is no skeptic. He writes no doubts. He promi the promises of God are yes and amen and not no and maybe. The gospel trumpet sounds no faltering note. When an earthquake shook the Philippian jail and all those who were in it, the jailer cried out, What must I do to be saved? Paul did not reply, Well, what do you think? Do you have any ideas? He made a firm statement of the fact. Believe in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved, you and your household. Acts 16, 30 and 31. The gospel is God's message, not Christian opinion. It is yours, it is, is yours today. What are the two greatest things God ever did? Well, the Bible tells us that he, he created the heavens and the earth. Could anything possibly equal that? Making our wonderful world with its oceans and its mountains and its rivers and filling the heavens with the stars. In fact, God did something else that was far more difficult. We call it the work of redemption. Creation costs God nothing. But that task cost him everything. At creation, God blessed us with energies, the energies of life. Then he blessed us with the gift of redemption, adding new life to ordinary life. Millions of people around the world enjoy it. They're jubilant. They exclaim and sing, I am redeemed. They cannot keep quiet about this wonderful gift that God has given them. Therefore, my friends, I encourage you to rejoice in your salvation. So let's go to the Lord in prayer. Father, help us to recognize that our joy is founded in you and our worship contributes to our spiritual vitality. May we look to you for our strength and pay attention to the drawing of the Spirit that helps us to connect with you and your love for us. And it's in Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. Hey guys, for further study on this, look at Acts 16, 30 and 31, Numbers 23, 19, there's some scriptures that we talked about and uh, in what we talked about today, and ask these two questions to yourself. Why do we at times have a hard time rejoicing? And two, where is your joy found? God bless you guys. I hope you'll continually follow me here on the Daily Ride, and I'll see you on the next trail ride.